some special accounts. Some accounts, not the normal purchase sale, slightly different transactions which arise AB Trading made a credit sale of for 10,000 to Ahmad as at the beginning of year 1. Ahmad paid 3,000 and declared that he would not be able to pay the rest of the money. His dues were written off as bad. However, at the end of year 3, Ahmad paid 4,000 towards his old dues. Past journal entries for all these transactions. So, what are the special accounts we are trying to cover here? One is bad debt and bad debt recovered. Now, what is a bad debt? Say for example, we make a sale to a customer. The business makes a sale to the customer. Who is this here? In this case, it is Ahmad. So, Ahmad, we have made a sale, let's say, of 10,000. What does this mean? In our books, Ahmad is an asset, is a receivable, a person who received our goods. There is a debit balance, debit, his account has been debited, indicating an asset, indicating a receivable of 10,000. Now, if for some reason, Ahmad does not pay this money, he is not in a position to pay this money, he leaves the country without paying the money and we know now this, there is no way of collecting this amount from him. We should not show this in our books as an asset. It would not be correct. We know it cannot be collected. It is no longer a receivable. We should just acknowledge it is a loss and write it off. Acknowledge it is a loss and write it off. So what happens? 10,000 was an asset. Now we will say no, no, 10,000 is no longer an asset. Let us remove this receivable, remove the receivable, decrease in this asset. And how do we decrease? What is the corresponding thing? We say it is a loss. What is the loss? The loss is called bad debt. It is a bad debt. So what is a bad debt when there is an amount to be received from somebody and he is not in a position to pay, we are not in a position to collect this, we feel that this money cannot be collected, then we call it a loss, we write that his that account off, we bring down the balance and debit instead an account called bad debt, a loss of bad debt. Now, it is possible. So, let us just first account for the bad debt, then we will discuss bad debts recovered. So, suppose AB Trading made a credit sale of 10,000 to Ahmad at the beginning of year 1. I am going to pass all the transactions. First, we will take year 1. What is the entry? What is the transaction for entry for the sale transaction? He made a credit sale to Ahmad. So what are the accounts involved? It's credit sale. So Ahmad's account is involved. Debit the receiver. Credit what? Credit sales. Goods have gone out. Credit sales. Sales is an income. So debit the receiver. Credit all incomes and gains. So our first entry would be Ahmad's account debit to sales an amount of 10,000. Let's say this is the debit column and this is the credit column. There could be a narration which I'm not writing now. Yeah. So Ahmad account debit to sales. 10,000 and year 1. Ahmad paid 3,000 and declared that he would not be able to pay the rest of the money. So, 3,000 he pays, 7,000 he will not pay. Let us first say what is the entry for the money that he pays. 3,000 he pays. So, money comes in, cash account is debited. Yes or no, why is cash received? So debit what comes in or increase in asset you debit. So cash account debit and the receivable comes down. 
the asset comes down or credit the giver. If asset comes down, you credit. Ahmad is giving the money. Debit the receiver. Credit the giver. So we credit Ahmad. Cash account debit to Ahmad's account. What is the amount? 3000. Again, there could be a narration here. I'm not writing the narration, whatever narration. Next, what happens? He has also said that 7,000 he will not be in a position to pay. So to carry this Ahmad's balance of 7,000, if you notice, Ahmad, there was a receivable for 10,000. We brought it down by 3,000. So now we have Ahmad's account. There is a receivable for 7,000. But he will not be able to pay this. Let us cancel this asset. Let us credit this asset. And what do we debit? We debit a loss account, an account called bad debts. So our entry now becomes bad debt account debit to Ahmad. How much? 7,000. So now there is no receivable. Ahmad, we had a receivable of 10,000. Then we reduced 3,000. Again, we reduced 7,000. So we don't have any money to be received from Ahmad as per our books as at the end of year 1. Now what happens subsequently? So this is what we have done. First, we passed an entry for the credit sale. This was 1. Next, we pass the entry for receipt of money to and third, he cannot pay, his dues were written off, bad debt. One, two, three. This is one, this is two and three, we've passed. At the end of year three, Ahmad paid 4,000 towards his old dues. But Ahmad, once his troubles were over, maybe Two years later, at the end of th th year three, three years later, he comes and he says, I pay you 4,000 rupees. I know I have to pay you seven, but please accept this 4,000 from me right now. So money comes in, cash account, debit. Next, what do we do? What is the account that we are going to credit? Is there a receivable from Ahmad? In our books, there is no further receivable. We cannot reduce this asset. We don't have this asset. So what do we do? And it is not a liability. We cannot create a liability for Ahmad also. So what do we do when we get this money? One account is cash. The other is, since we don't have anything to do with Ahmad now, no further receivable, we don't want to create Ahmad as a liability. We don't owe Ahmad anything. We open a new account, an income account. We say this is just an income. We call it bad debts recovered account. Bad debt recovered account. When he, when we knew he could not pay, we took had a loss account. We debited a loss account. We debited bad debts account. Now that this money is coming in, we take it as an income account. So the entry year three, when money is received, becomes cash account debit to bad debts recovered to bad debts recovered an amount of 4000 so what is this bad debts recovered it is an income account increase in income we credit cash account increase in asset we debit so when there is a bad debt we say bad debt account debit to debtor the person from whom we have to get this money when bad debts are later on recovered we say cash account debit to bad debt recovered account and income account a gain account this is how bad debts and bad debt recovered are treated in the books of account bad debt is a loss bad debt recovered account is an income